What is one of the dumbest things you've done when your brain was on autopilot? Once put toothpaste on my razor and very nearly put it in my mouth before the gears in my brain screeched to a halt and the warning sirens went off. I now keep my razor in the shower, far away from my toothbrush. I once leaned close to the mirror to check out a random hair or something and gagged myself on my toothbrush hanging out my mouth. I was brushing my teeth and staring at a video on my phone, bent down to spit it out while still looking at my phone and then just spit on my phone. Not my proudest moment. Wake up in the middle of the night to take a pee then just auto piloted into my morning routine. It wasn't until after I drank my coffee that I realized it was only 3am and that I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep. I took a nap after work, woke up at 7pm, and the sky was about the same color it is in the morning. I went into immediate autopilot and made coffee, packed my lunch, and realized what I'd done when I was halfway downtown. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving home, but instead of going to my current house, I drove to my old house. I haven't lived there in over 5 years. I pulled into the driveway and luckily I realized what I had done before I actually got out of the car. I can just imagine you entering the house while some family, going about their day, looks up at you in absolute confusion. Was holding my phone and ice cream in a cone. Phone rang, answered ice cream. A sticky ear is surprisingly uncomfortable. Early morning, I was about to put mouthwash on my toothbrush, but I caught myself, and I was like, nice try, brain and put them back. Then, I grabbed the toothpaste, and squeezed it on my palm. I tried to click my house door open with my car keys on more than one occasion. Thank god I'm not the only one who does this. And my car has range, so it literally takes my lights flashing a couple times, before I look around to make sure my neighbors didn't see. My brother ordered nachos at a Mexican restaurant, grabbed a chip and proceed to watch himself dip it into his tea. After about two dips, he came back into reality, shook his head and went what? My mother is an EMT, after a 24 hour shift she came home and tried to unlock the front door with her car keys button and did that for about 5 minutes. I once drove to work, when I was supposed to drop my younger brother off at school, neither of us seemed to notice, until we got to my workplace, and I had turn around. He was late. I pet my laptop thinking it was my dog. I pet my friend's brother-in-law, while we are watching a movie, and he was sitting on the floor. We had just met about 3 hours prior. I petted my husband thinking it was a dog, while half asleep in bed one morning. He was amused, but finished waking me up, by barking at me haha. <laughs> I threw a stick, and asked my nephew to fetch it without even realizing. Surprisingly he did it happily. He's five. Oh man, the other day I went to get a snack at the Sonic drive through I grabbed a handful of trash, to throw in the drive through trash can, threw out my tatter tots, and drove all the way home with a pile of trash in my lap, before I realized what I had done. Ohh that reminded me, got my coffee, drank it, phone in one hand and empty cup in the other, guess which one went into the trash? I told my friend you're welcome, after he sneezed and excused himself the other day. I was trying to make some scrambled eggs. Basic prep, crack the eggs, put the eggs in a bowl, toss the shell. My dumbass, crack the egg, put egg in the trash. I literally stood above the trash can with the shell in my hands processing what had just happened for about 30 seconds. I just had the faint feeling of I ducked up and was wondering exactly how for way too long. I was riding passenger in my car with my wife driving. I was sort of brain dead after work while we were coupling and we came to a stoplight. It turned green but the car in front of us wasn't moving for a few seconds. I was trying to call the car a mothia dukpa, and then tell my wife to honk, but ended up saying honk mothia dukpa. Let me tell you, the look my wife had on her face, before she realized I was being retarded was something unique. So now it has become a joke between us cause she started laughing her ass off once I realized what I had done moments later, and I went wait no, that isn't what I meant. I woke up, 
so I automatically got dressed, prepared things to school, and started making myself a breakfast. Suddenly my dad appears in the kitchen, saying, it's 3 in the morning and it's Sunday, what the hell are you doing? Reminds me of the time I got up and started writing a story based on the last song I heard on the radio at 2am. Mom asked me what I was doing up and I said I have to finish this. She told me that school had been out for 3 weeks. I picked shaving foam can instead of antiperspirant and spray it on my underarm, took it as a sign from the almighty, and ended up shaving my underarm. That's how you listen to the universe. Bless. I've had two, both driving related for some reason. One, I was at the grocery store pushing my cart through the aisle, as you do. Then, when I went to turn left into another aisle, I tried to put on my blinker for some reason. Two. Class was just ending, and as I was about to stand up to leave, I reached down to unbuckle my seatbelt. My brother used the washroom before bedtime, and it was my turn to go now. I wanted to brush, and we had newly shifted so everything was in a mess, and hence I couldn't find the toothpaste. So I asked my bro where he kept it, and when I couldn't find it where he said it was, he came to check himself, and handed me the shaving cream. When I pointed it out, he said that's why it tasted odd. I just thought it was from a different brand from around here my brother used shaving cream as toothpaste. My morning routine included drive through breakfast at McDonald's back when they had the garbage can in the lane. Every morning I'd get my breakfast, pull up, and throw away yesterday's old bag and random trash. One day my superior intellect decided to just simplify the process and chunk the new breakfast in the trash. Realized it the moment after it mattered. Pulled around for try hash too. Walking into my room from the kitchen, cup or odd in one hand and my phone in the other. Meant to throw my phone on the bed, accidentally ended up throwing my juice into my bed. I was so annoyed I didn't even bother cleaning it up until the morning. Slept on the couch. One evening I was playing Europa Universalis, and I was pretty immersed in the gamma play. Suddenly I thought, I could grab a beer. So I paused the game, and went to the fridge for one, but there were none. Weird, I though, I was almost sure I had at least three bottles there. So I returned to the computer and all three bottles stood unopened on my desk. Apparently, I had the same thought four times already, but every time I got back to the computer I forgot about the beer, and went back to playing without remembering the incident. We will say my name is Joe. I worked in retail as a manager. I had a call on hold for me, and I hadn't had my caffeine yet. I picked up the phone, and said thank you for joe How may I hold you? Instead of thank you for holding, how may I help you? Just pretended like nothing happened while, I thought, the customer was in complete silence. Turned out they had one of those laughs, where you can't breathe right away. Drove my now fiancé to my ex-girlfriend's. How's to drop her off home? When I was in college my parents and my brother were gone for the weekend on a trip, and I had an exam on Monday, so I went home to study. After a couple hours of studying, I was hungry, and went to see if there was anything in the fridge. I found some stuff, but wasn't sure if my mom was saving it for when they got back. So, I decided to call her to confirm if it was okay to eat. I grabbed my phone and dialed my home phone number, since that's what I would normally call. I then hear my home phone ring, so I put down my cell phone to pick it up. I saw hello a couple of times, and don't hear anyone, so I hang up. At that point as I walk back over to my cell phone, I realize what just happened. I got lost walking to school. Very very lost. And was not able to backtrack to figure out how I had gotten lost. I eventually found a payphone, which should help date the event, and called my dad to pick me up. Describing where I was also took longer than I care to admit now me. Hey dad, I'm at a grocery store. Dad, why are you at a grocery store? Me, I got lost on the way to school. Could you come pick me up when you have a chance? I'm not really sure where I am. Dad, what grocery store are you at? Me, Croger. Dad, there isn't a Croger anywhere near your school. Which Croger are you at? Me, I don't know. How would I find out? Dad, what road were you walking on? Me, I don't know, I got lost. Dad, Zmagasex, 
please ask one of the employees where you are. This continued for another few minutes before I was able to communicate to my father where I was, which ended up being several miles away from my school. This was in high school. This was a route I had walked many many times previously. I just started thinking about something or another and started walking on autopilot for evidently quite some time before it dawned on me that I no longer recognized any of my surroundings.